Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Government and Consumer Services. Minister, yesterday you held an important announcement in Etobicoke about what this government is doing next in order to help bring about a booming recovery for our province. Ontarians are counting on our government to bring real and meaningful change to how Ontario gets its goods, the goods it needs, to keep our province safe and strong for years to come. As such, Speaker, I would like to ask the Minister to please tell us more about the new Building Ontario Business Initiative and what it will do for the future of our people and businesses. To respond, Minister of Government and Consumer Services. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, very uh, huge thanks to the member from Mississauga, Aaron Mills, for his question and for his great advocacy for the people of his riding. Our government's new Building Ontario Business Initiative, or Bobby for short, as we like to call it, Mr. Speaker, will leverage existing public sector buying power to help direct more government procurement opportunities towards local Ontario businesses, Mr. Speaker. While Ontario businesses have social responsibility practices in place, such as labour ethics and environmental standards, other jurisdictions may not have these same standards, which drive their costs down. We've heard this before, Mr. Speaker. But our businesses here in Ontario, they should not be disadvantaged to foreign ones because of the cost of these standards. So we are leveling the playing field, Mr. Speaker, so that we can ensure that the people of this province have the opportunity to compete on the government procurements that we have right here in Ontario. And with Bobby, we are going to make sure that buyers are able to procure products and services using a, weight, using a weighted domestic criteria so Once. that our local suppliers can be evaluated fairly and in order to ensure that we are putting more tax dollars to work and giving more preference to our local businesses and vendors. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Supplementary. Thank you very much, Speaker, and I, I would like to thank the Minister for this answer. Speaker, our province has had the, to endure one of the most difficult periods in modern history, and it has affected our businesses and people unlike anything we have seen. Under these under-foreseeing circumstances, we have had to find new and innovative solutions in order to best protect our people and businesses. So my question to you, Mr. Speaker, is again to the Minister of Government and Consumer Services. Could the Minister tell us how Building Ontario Business Initiative is going to contribute to our efforts in spearheading Ontario's economic recovery and what makes it special, especially important for our people and our businesses. Minister of Government and Consumer Services. Thank you again, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for his question. And you know what? The best way to talk about this, Mr. Speaker, is, is with an example. And it's about never again. When the Premier of this province stood before our entire province and said to everyone, never again will the people of this province be beholden to any other jurisdiction for our PPE needs. We engage Supply Ontario. We engage the, the, the real fundamental tenets of the Building Ontario Business Initiative. And you know what, Mr. Speaker, never again will we be beholden to any other jurisdictions because now we are going straight to the source and we are getting nothing but the best of the best in supplies. And you know what? That's because they're Ontario made products, Mr. Speaker. And we are harnessing the immense buying power of our province to build up our supply chain, boost Ontario jobs and businesses, and put money where it is needed most as we are recovering. With Bobby, Mr. Speaker, we are also aiming to break down barriers to increase government procurements towards our local businesses to ensure that the little guy has the opportunity to build their business and also rebuild our economy, Mr. Speaker. We are choosing to invest in our people and our potential because we know that their ingenuity and ability and can-do attitude it is what is going to it's what took us through the last two years, Mr. Speaker, and it's when it's going to elevate us through the next several years of recovery and uh, look forward to greater work as a result of this initiative. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.